Good morning and welcome to a Morning Moments. We have a, another very special guest today, uh, Robert G. Lee. He is a comedian, a speaker, and an author. Thank you so much, uh, Robert, for joining us today. Oh, absolutely my pleasure. Uh, at this point, as you should know, it, it's a pleasure to go anywhere, even if it's on Zoom. It just, I just, I, I'm so, I've been stuck in this house for a year. Um, and I, I tell everyone that every day my wife comes up and asks me a simple knock, knock joke. She says, knock, knock. I say, who's there? She says, you, you're always here. You never leave. You got to get out of the house. Uh, and so uh, we're in California and it's a little bit different than Virginia, but you know, the rules are different everywhere. Uh, now they've opened up dining again, but every time we go outside to eat, the, the, the waiter has a mask on and a plastic mask, and they're wrapped in saran wrap. So I don't know how safe you have to be in Virginia, but it, it's pretty ridiculous here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it, there's a new normal, isn't there? So we're, we're praying we get to the other side of this. Yes. I, I also hear that you're an author, and you just released a book not too long ago. Can you tell us a little bit about that book that you wrote? Well, I, I think I happen to have a copy. Just of it. so happened to oh, have look, a copy. Right look here. at this! I just happened to. Well, have what a do copy you know? Right here. What do you know? Um, so this is it, it's the strangest thing for me to write because um, I'm a smart aleck, and this is it's the first half of this is really a lot of science. Uh, so I just tell everyone that I read all these books on physics, and I, I basically I took one for the team. I took a bullet. Uh, so you don't have to read all this stuff. I did it. It's called What's the Big Idea? It's the intersection of faith and science told from a smart Alex perspective. So I, I, I looked at this culture. I said, what language does this culture speak? Sarcasm. Uh, so it's like, I, it's the perfect time for me to, I, I come from a very strong faith-based background. I, I have a very strong belief in God, but I just keep hearing all these millennials and, and, and people leaving the church because they think that science and God don't mix. So the purpose of this book is to show them no, if you look at the science, you're going to be amazed at how God put this world together. I call him the creative designer in the book, but it, it builds on the universe and how amazing it is, and then our world, and then your body. And it's it by the time you get to the end of it, it go this this couldn't have happened by chance. It, it'd be impossible. So to me, it's this act of really almost worship that I, when I look around the world, I'm not a big nature guy. But when I look around now, I just think, wow, God created all these elements, which combine with this, which combine with that. Uh, it's just the, the, the facts are just stunning. So I try to take all these facts, make it fun, and lead people along the path. Because I, I, in the book, I say there, there's three questions everyone should ask themselves. And that's, how do we get here? So I cover that. Why are we here? And now what are you going to do about it? And uh, that's really what the book is. So it's called, um, yeah, what, what's the big idea? A comedian explains God, the universe, and other minor stuff. So that, that's been my big adventure for this last year. I like that. What are you going to do about it? One of my favorite sayings is uh, God, God knows your heart. It's up to us to hear his voice. Ooh, and I like uh, that one. Uh, you could use it. I stole it from somebody else, so you could use it. Uh, but but God really knows where we're at. And uh, the main thing is, do we know God? Do we know the heart of God? And once we understand the heart of God and why he, he put us here, then you, then you have to say, I want to hear from you, God, because what do you want me to do? Every one of us has a, has, a, has a uniqueness to us, and we have something that nobody else has. And God would like to use that, wouldn't he? Oh, it, it, yes, exactly. We, we are, I always say I'm a soldier for God uh, and also an ambassador. So it's my job to go out and present him so other people can get to know him so then they can work for him. Because yeah, the way he designed us, he knows exactly what we need as individuals and how we're supposed to operate in this world. Uh, the Christian term for that is sanctification. Bit by bit, we get closer to his holiness, if you will. Uh, he takes us from where we are, our base nature, and he moves us over to be more like him. And when you get there, it's like, oh, I, I, it, it's so antithetical to what the world says. The world says, hoard your money. God says, no, no, you're actually going to be happier if you give your money away. And uh, it's just, no, I'm supposed to be selfish. I, I have to, I have a scarcity mentality. No, no, no. Just go out there and serve the world. That's what I want you to do. So all those things, the older I get, the more I realize, oh, I'm not supposed to go after fame. Oh, 
I'm not supposed to be wealthy. Oh, I'm supposed to love others as much as I love me. I, I, I think I'm finally, finally, yeah. finally getting it as uh, the older I get. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but uh, I have been standing on the scriptures the, that the, the, the latter is going to be better than the first, and the best is yet to come. And I am looking forward to what God has for us, in the, for, for us and for me for my second part, last half of my life, if it's that. So, Yeah, last half is, I'll say last third. I won't go Last half. third, somewhere I, around there, somewhere around there. So good, good. And so is your comedy, how's your comedy doing in this time? It's, oh, I'm having a great time, and, and honestly, it's one of those, it's, it's a gift from God, because there's a thing called serious radio now, so for the first time in my career, and for most comics, we're actually getting residuals for comedy that, we've, that we wrote a long time ago, but my latest album called I'm Sorry, uh, I, I, I released it to Sirius, and then, again, this is how God works. He knew before I did that COVID was going to take everything away. I've been doing TV warm-up for Hollywood sitcoms for 30 years. And when COVID hit, it shut down. The show I was working on shut down. So, you know, you have your budget. It's like, oh, no, this is supposed to go till June. Sorry, that's not going to happen. Somehow, by making it my latest comedy album two years ago, releasing it to Sirius Radio last September, the residuals started coming in in April, exactly yeah. when I needed them. And we're still alive. The joke is... 10 months later, we had the same amount of money that we had when I when um, COVID started, and I haven't had a single TV show. All the gigs dried up. I've done some Zoom things like this, but you know, that's it's very, very small, and it's really hard to, I've had some pregnancy centers and done some shows for them, but it's hard on a Zoom call, it really yeah. is. So I would say maybe 10% of what I used to have, and, but we're still here. God has given us residuals. He's given us money over here. And every once in a while, our neighbors don't pick up their Amazon packages. So we get a bonus. So it's, like, it's nice. Uh, my dad, the pastor, used to always say, God is unpredictable, but always dependable. And I don't, I don't it, know how it, he's going to do it, but he's it, going It's to. just been such a great faith builder for me. It's like, my, I just feel taken care of. So you ask on my comedy careers, I really have to say, you know, I'm working on my next comedy album because I know, oh, well, God saved me here. I better get, I better get working because in two to three more years, I may need more money. Uh, so I'm constantly working, constantly writing, working with other comics, building material. It, it's really one of my most creative times because I, I wrote this book, so I'm writing two more books and I'm doing my next comedy CD. Uh, I, I actually have office hours. I've gotten so productive during this time that I'm I, I never scheduled time before. Now it's like, no, no, I must get up. I exercise every once in a while, and I and I sit down in my office. And this is this comes at the end of the day for me. We're recording it early, obviously. And then, okay, it's, it'll be dinner with my wife, and then tomorrow I'll start all over again. So, uh, my whole thing is I love to be creative. Yeah. So when you say stand-up comedy, it's really what avenue can I use my creativity? So absolutely. that's, boy, it's just been going gangbusters because there's nowhere to go. Yep, absolutely. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Sure. And I want to encourage each and every one of you that's listening to this today to pass it on. Pass it on in your Facebook and, and on YouTube. Pass it on. If you know somebody that needs this word of encouragement, and reach out to, uh, to his website. It's right down here below. You know, I'm putting it right down here, right here. I'm putting it down in the comment section. Go to his website and uh, purchase that book and listen to his comedy. And I, I, Robert, I want to thank you for taking s some time out of your busy schedule to be with me today. <laughs> the busy schedule. That was the funniest thing we said today. That was, that was <laughs> What great. can I tell you? <laughs> All right. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for Morning Moments. And may God richly bless you all.